hey y'all what's up welcome back to the vlog so y'all i'm basically getting ready to go out of town but before i go out of town i need to get royalties 18 month limp check um yeah so <laughs> this is gonna i'm about to blow down her hair <laughs> i already just washed and deep conditioned it Okay, well, you go ahead and take over the blog. Do your thing. Tell them what's going on. Hurry up. Hurry up, because I got to get ready. I got to do my own hair. I got to shower. My flight is, like, in less than 24 hours, y'all. I'm about to leave. And, <laughs> and I got stuff to do, y'all. Y'all, I got to go get my brows done right quick. I have stuff to do. I'm getting ready to go to Atlanta. I'm about to be there for, like, some time because I really need a break. But anyway, let's get up. Go ahead and, um... Get her um, limp check right quick. Um, if y'all want to see how I take care of her hair, there's plenty of other videos on my channel. Make sure y'all check them out. Make sure y'all check her out on Instagram at Royalty Reigns. And you can see some other um, hair tutorials and just products that I've been using on her hair for the last year and a half. But yeah, I think that I'm about to leave her hair in a protective style for the next six months. So I'm going to leave her hair in a protective style until she's two and then when she's two i'll take it down and we can do another limp check because i normally do a limp check i believe every six months is what i've been doing on the regular so i'm like let me hurry up and get this in while i get ready to go out of town because i'm about to be doing my grown-up thing and y'all already know so all right like i said i already washed and um conditioned her hair so i'm about to blow dry it right quick I'm about to use some heat protectant or whatever. This is the heat protectant that I've been using for a while now. But y'all, she don't worry about her crying. She's whining because she's tired. She's been up since early this morning with me cleaning up the house. Like I've been deep cleaning the house. Stop. Be nice. Be nice. Y'all, the terrible twos ain't even started. And she, she like terrible one and a half. So be nice. I thought she was about to hit me because she be hitting. But, um, yeah, she's just crying because she's tired. But if y'all feel like she's crying because she's getting her hair uh, blow dry, then who am I to stop you? Um, believe what you want to believe. I don't care. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to do a limb check on her right quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and put her hair in a protective style. I'm going to braid it and put beads on it. I probably, after I do the limb check, I'm probably going to have to, like, let her go to sleep and do her hair while she's asleep because she really is sleepy. She's, like whining and all that extra stuff so i'm gonna um do it while she's asleep and then um i'll just come back because i also need to go wash my sheets i got like so much stuff to do let, let me let me just do this limp check let's get into it okay so i know Pooh, you sweepy i know mommy just wants to see how your hair is coming along so this is the front <laughs> she's like get this on my face the front comes underneath her chin. Why you put some spin in your hair? So the front, yeah, it comes underneath her chin here. Yes, that's the front. Let's see about the sides. This is probably like the third time I blow dry her hair. I blow dried it once when I flat ironed it. And then um, I blow dried it again last week because I was about to do the limb check, but I never 
filmed it and then I just blow dried it now. So this is the third time that she's had her hair blow dried in a year and a half. So she's been here on earth. <laughs> so she's been alive. But yeah. The size of her hair, y'all, I noticed that the, this part of her hair, it grows slower than the rest of her hair. So this part of her hair is just shorter than the rest for some reason. But this back here is past her shoulder. You see it's shoulder length. I'm going to say just to be sh for sure that it's shoulder length. Okay. I think the last time that I did a limp check, her hair was like six inches. So let me turn her around so we can see the back. I know, I know. Let's see how the back is doing. Let's see how the back is doing. And Rosie has like major shrinkage. She has the type of hair that needs to be in t styled. It just she can't just wear her hair out like this. Like it's not gonna work. It'll cause her to have a lot of damage and breakage. So, fro life is not for her. Um, hold your head up. What's this? Good job. So, this is the back. I'm going to say her hair is about armpit length. Armpit length. Here, have it back. Here, cry baby. Yeah, it's about um, as long as her armpit. So, to be honest, I could see her at this rate, the way that it's growing, she's one and a half. At this rate, I could see her hair being um, waist length, if not even tailbone length by the time she's three. At this rate. Okay, so that's her 18 month length check. <clears throat> so, yeah, y'all, I'm about to do her hair right quick <laughs> as quickly as i can as quickly and as nicely as i can i'm gonna put this on it and then put some braids in it and let me turn her around so she can see yeah this and put some braids on it and then i'm gonna put these beads i found these beads i bought her some more beads i'm gonna put these on her hair and seal it with a rubber band and yeah basically how her hair is going to be for the next six months so i'm gonna leave it alone and then i'll take it down but we already talked about that so yeah um we'll be back when her hair is finished and then maybe i'll take y'all to the laundromat with me all that extra stuff just make it a go ahead like a whole vlog but let me get her down for a nap hey uh, what's okay, up so i'm at the airport you know, i'm looking rough i was running late and i don't know what's going on but they have changed the way that you get to your flight get through boarding and stuff in Cleveland and y'all like it is literally literally 7 15 my flight boards at 7 15 and leaves at 8 and um, I haven't even got through security so pray for me y'all oh my gosh I made it through security I don't know what I was thinking, but I don't have on any socks. And now I feel so disgusting because I had to take my shoes off for security. And yeah, so now I'm running to my gate. My gate is all the way at the end. i
y'all, I finally made it to Atlanta. I called and got a hair appointment at the Dominican salon. I did stop and get my brows done um, yesterday when I was doing baby girl's hair, but I called and made an appointment at the Dominican salon to get a blowout. And then the nail salon, they said that they're open on Sundays, which so I'm, I think I'm gonna stop by there, but first I gotta get something to eat. Oh my god, y'all. I'm hungry as fuck. And I don't even know. I gotta stop dealing with drug dealers. Like, this nigga just stop and make a play. <laughs> Gang members. No, but for real, y'all. I'm hungry. My hair is like a effing mess. Like, he probably. I'm looking like a whole catfish right now. No, no, no cap. But it's all good because y'all, I don't, oh, you can see in my reflection in my glasses. <laughs> I don't be tripping about like my hair and stuff not being done or my nails not being done because I know what I could look like. Like I know I'm a bad bitch. I already know I'm bad. Like, so... And I don't even look like all the way trash when I don't have myself all the way together. So just, you already know, when I have myself together, I'm going to be a bad bitch. So anyway, yeah, I guess y'all know I got flued out. And yeah, um, y'all, I, I flew out on spirit. Like, I told him how much the ticket costs. And I'm probably going to have to tell him this. I don't think he watches my vlogs, though. But I told him how much the ticket costs. And, it, <laughs> and I'm like, send me the money. Because I don't understand how y'all be getting flued out and don't be having a way back home. Like, I don't understand that. So, I was like, send me the money. Oh, here he come. Hold on. Um. Yeah, so... Now we about to go get something to eat because the freaking room isn't early. I don't understand why they don't have early check-in. But we saw because I ain't paying for this. But um, yeah. So he said I was like, okay. So on Southwest, cause Southwest, I don't see nothing wrong with Southwest. Southwest get you where you need to go. They got something to eat on a flight. You know what I'm saying? And the bags is included, and it's cheap as fuck. Well, I thought it was cheap as fuck. So 400 was round trip to get me from Cleveland to Atlanta. So when I, um, cause I looked up the price and then I told him like, just cash at me the money so I can buy the ticket. Cause if I buy the ticket, then I know I got a round trip ticket. You know what I'm saying? So he cash at me the money. But since I looked at, you know how like you search something and then all of a sudden you get all these ads. So then spirit was like, yo, like I can get you to Atlanta for like $10 round trip. And I was like, what bitch? And, uh, <laughs> And y'all, anyway, long story short, I bought my ticket on, for Spirit. That was my first time riding Spirit, and it wasn't even bad. I flew Frontier one time when I went to Vegas, and the landing was freaking horrible. And I haven't, I haven't flew Frontier since. But yeah, the um, the landing and takeoff, everything was good. Uh, I did buy some drinks on board, so like I'm already lightweight lit. I know it's only like eleven o'clock, but what the fuck, it's five o'clock somewhere. I've been feeling this up, feeling away, y'all. Like, I'm trying to just keep myself out of that dark place, but I have been kind of drinking a lot. Like, anyway, so yeah, um, we about to go get something to eat, and yeah, I will talk to y'all when we get to the restaurant, I guess. Oh my god y'all i've been in the room look so i know i said we was going to get something to eat but we decided to um what the fitness center is closed we decided to uh 
y'all y'all know i'm working with timmy blends and i told them that i would get a video up <laughs> a review of the product and i was gonna like do it in the gym here but now the freaking gym is closed but hold on Hello. Yeah. But oh, the mirror in here is better. The freaking gym is closed. Maybe I need to go to the lounge. Or do I need to go to the lobby? Anyway, the freaking gym is closed, so I cannot do that. Like that's out the window. But yeah, so we <laughs> we did not end up getting anything to eat because not only does COVID have the gym closed, but they also had the restaurant here closed too. Am I at the right area? I don't know where I'm going. Ugh. Yeah, they also had the restaurant closed. They was like, oh, we only serve breakfast on... This is floor doesn't have the lobby, does it? I'm at the wrong floor. I think I need to go down one for the lobby, right? Yeah. yeah. One second. <laughs> okay, so anyway, the lighting is much better out here, but y'all, and it's so freaking humid. Like it's just got my hair doing all kind of crazy stuff. I think that I'm going to not, uh, I'm going to cancel my uh, order for the blowout. And I'm gonna get some braids. I tried to call the African hair um, store that I used to get my braids done from when I lived here. And they, I don't think they were open because they ain't answered the phone, so yeah. But um, yeah, so basically everything's closed because of COVID and it's so late and I'm just now getting something to eat. But I ordered some Juicy Jerk which is like some really good Caribbean food. But y'all, oh, my hair is so trash. Like the humidity just did my hair so dirty here. But yeah, I'm gonna show you my food when I get back to the room. Oh y'all. So I was down there waiting on my food. And next thing you know, I get a text message from the DoorDash person that my food had been delivered. It's so gloomy outside. And it's causing me to have like bad lighting in the room. But I'm about to show y'all my food. And I'm like a little bit tired. So I'm probably going to like, we probably just going to chill out tonight. And then tomorrow, like I'll be refreshed because after traveling and then finally get something to eat. It was like a whole hassle getting something to eat. But hold on. So this is the food. I'm trying to figure out where's my bread. Like this normally comes with bread and it comes with sauce. They did not put no bread or sauce in my order. And then I ordered the pepper shrimp. So if you Caribbean, you already know about pepper shrimp. But this, this right here, this food smack okay this is how i be wanting to eat in cleveland and it's just like don't be working out like i don't know what's going on like i can't get thick to save my life in cleveland because it just ain't like the south y'all look at these pepper shrimp mm, 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 mm. yes lord it's just not the same i would mm, yes They spicy. I was gonna get um who's got soul. I was about to get some soul food. It's Sunday. I normally um when I was in Atlanta I would eat there on Sundays or whenever I just wanted like some real good food. I would eat there. The place is called Who's Got Soul. Their food is always good. If you in Atlanta and you want some good soul food. I'm probably going to stop there tomorrow when I'm out. 
because I gotta give me some good food before I go back to Cleveland. Before I go back to that foolishness. But yeah, y'all. I'm about to eat this food and watch a movie. Watch some Amazon Prime. But yeah. Woo y'all. That food was good. So I'm about to find something to watch because I'm bored now in this room by myself. I should call my friends. Let them know I'm in town. But by the time they get dressed and get up here, I'm going to be tired. Like, girl, go home. But I'm going to see my bitches tomorrow. Um. So, yeah, I know in the beginning of the vlog, I was showing y'all baby's royalties hair. So, I'm going to put, like, a little clip on how it turned out here at the end of the vlog. Because at this point, I'm about to end the vlog because, like... You know, I'm about to be here for some days. Like, I just needed a quick getaway because, like I said, I was feeling like I was about to just have a whole, like, relapse on the depression. Like, <laughs> it be real, y'all. Like, I be, like, stressing myself out so bad about being successful that it just causes me to have, like, slight nervous breakdowns like I felt like I was on the verge of a nervous breakdown with work and everything and just life in general and like making mistakes like sometimes the mistakes that I've made just really stress me out because like I'm genuinely a good person so when I do things that are not in line with who I am or like, I don't know, like, or with my moral codes that I hold for myself, it really, like, I'm really hard on myself. And, um, like, to the point where I will have a whole nervous breakdown because I'm so disappointed with myself. So I have to, like, I have kids now. <laughs> or I have this new baby now, and I, I can't be having episodes I don't know. I don't. I've never had like a serious episode. I don't know if I made it seem like I be having like. I don't know what I just made that shit seem like, but <laughs> I've never been hospitalized or anything. It's just that I'll just like not talk to people. I'll shut myself off from the world. I'll shut off all my social media, and I'll become real antisocial for months. So, um, in order for me to prevent myself from doing that, I have to take some time for myself. And that's basically what I'm doing now. So, yeah, y'all, it's, it's tough. But I'm tired of being on camera looking like this. So, hopefully, y'all like Baby Roti's hair and the vlog. And, yeah, we gonna get into some stuff in the city tomorrow. Okay? All right, y'all. It's been real. Y'all be easy. I will see y'all on the next vlog. Peace.